I swear they did that on purpose. <laughs> Welcome guys, welcome to another video with your girl, the Royal XO in the flesh. Excuse any background noise, we do have construction going on upstairs, but we're gonna disregard that because they're not getting our video. They want some video time, they're not getting it. <laughs> Just gonna disregard that. Let me get my hair real quick. Based on the title, you guys already know we're about to get into it and pay tribute to today, which is May 18th. And most of you should know. I would be ashamed if you don't. Comment down below if you don't know what today, what May 18th stands for. And don't go Googling it either. <laughs> anyway, today is Haitian Flag Day. And as you know, I am Haitian, so I will be doing a tribute look. I have no idea how I'm gonna how it's gonna turn out or what it's gonna be, but we just know it's gonna be cute. It's it's just it'll fall through. Let's get right into it. Let's get started. Oh, but why she thought she was cute though? And is cute. We're gonna go ahead in with our LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Chestnut to go ahead and cover up some blemishes. Okay, so y'all do not come for me in the comments because this clean where this video was created in 2020. I'm going to be basically critiquing my old techniques, but first, a music break. Once I will go ahead and conceal all the blemishes, I will blend it all out so we can have an even slate. But sis, why you trying to make a whole music video out here? Can you get the blending? like focus focus but yeah i will blend it all into an even canvas <laughs> it's the peach fuzz for me and we don't like that so we're gonna go ahead and conceal that and then blend that out as well like miss man was really walking out here with a whole mustache girl but let me show y'all some magic voila look at that look at that girl with the brows on fleek and y'all, don't even ask me. I don't even know why EXO used to do this back in the day, but baby loved her some tinted brows. Like, you couldn't tell her nothing, okay? One thing's for certain, two things for sure. We definitely do not like harsh eyebrows, so I definitely will always like brush them out and make the ombre effect. I give her that. I'm At this point, y'all might as well consider this EXO mini music video or something because, baby, there's going to be a hella music break. And, of course, we always want to go ahead and conceal around the eyebrows. Clean up is always my favorite part. I'm going to remind y'all again, this was like two years ago. So I don't know why XO thought that this was the concealed color that she needed to use. Like, y'all just gotta trust the process. Just, just hold my hand along the way. Just hold my hand, like. Okay, so knowing the skills that I know right now, like I just wanna stop her. Like, just stop. Let me, let me take, let me take the brush out your hand. Just let me take the brush out your hand. Like, why did my old self even think that this was okay? I hope this allows my viewers to understand that everything's a learning process. At this point, like two years ago, I did not know everything that there is to know about makeup. I was just learning things out. But y'all, I promise you, trust the process. It'll all like work out in the end. Look how cute they look. Like, look at her. Them eyebrows look so neat. Yes, rub it out with your hand because your hand do have some warmth and body heat that can melt the product. So she kind of knew what she was doing, but kind of didn't at the same time. Girl, you and all these music breaks. But here's the concealer I use for my eyelids as well as up under my eyebrows. It's called 
the Master Conceal by Face Studio. I'm guessing I got this from a drug short, so I honestly don't remember where I bought it from. Or possibly Ulta back in the day. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one. At this point, I knew the concealer was way too light, but it was all I had, so I was like, oh, whatever, it's gonna have to work. And EXO wasted no time. She went straight ahead to go ahead and clean that out. I give her like two points for doing that. I'm gonna give her two points. Y'all tell me how many points she should get for this because y'all trust the process, trust the process, I promise. Oh, she knew something. She pulling out that Afrique palette by Juvia's Place, and this is one of my favorite palettes. And she going straight in for that boost. I don't know how to say her name, so I'm not even gonna try to say it. Cause ooh, that blue, it is so pigmented. That's what I love about the Juvia's Place palette. I swear to y'all, those colors pop. One thing I'm gonna say, I don't know why since ain't blended out like she was supposed to. She packed it all in, but she did not blend it out. She was like, whatever. At least she kind of knew how to cut the crease. Like, that's kind of cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, boo. Okay, we see you. And I've never really been good at like doing the opposite eye when it comes down to doing my own face. It's never gonna come out perfect. And I can tell, like y'all gonna see how she kind of shows a bit of frustration when she doing this side of the cutie bag go. <laughs> she like, she had enough of this. Like, hey, so it's okay, you gonna get this. I mean, I'm telling you, two years later, you gonna be A1. Like, if you could go back in time and tell your old self something, like, what would you tell yourself? Me, I would just tell myself, keep going. I'm glad I never gave up on the things that I was passionate about because I've excelled in those areas. A lot of times, XO wanted to quit so many times, so many times, but I'm glad I would go back and tell her, keep going. And she done pulled out the Saharan Tally by Juvia's Place. This girl was obsessed with Juvia's Place. Like, yes, ma'am. She went in with that vibrant burgundy red. And then again, with that gold on the inner corners of her eyes. Like, this came out so kind of cute. And we're going in with the foundation. I don't know why I didn't show the foundation, but this video is two years ago, so that is besides me at this point. But I'm gonna give her some cool points because you will see that she goes down into the neck and blends it down there. And to conceal up the rest of the face, we're gonna go ahead and grab our suede from our Fenty Trio Sticks. And we're gonna do the basic, you know, conceal up under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, the forehead, the chin, and above, you know, our little peach fuzz. <laughs> So my old self really did get the basics of doing her own makeup. She grabbed her contour and she's gonna go ahead and contour up under her cheekbones as well as the sides of her nose and around her forehead. And look, she even grabbed that chin. And we're just gonna blend it all out until it's seamless and then go straight into highlighter. And for some reason, back in the day, I used to like double highlight for some reason. Y'all are gonna see the second highlight. Like, I love highlighting it, like my cupid bow above my lip. Like, my lips are already big, so I don't know why I would ever do that. 
but I did it and I like the big thing like it's cute and you see me going in rubbing the highlighter in with my hands because if you know fancy products are very matte and dry so you need like your body temperature to warm it up and melt that so I give her that like she's smart she knows them. And y'all, this is the highlighter holy grail of my entire makeup kit. The Honor Roll Highlighter from Crayon Cake. Y'all, I don't know why I love double highlighting, but baby, I'm trying to be seen from space, from out of space. Like, baby, I'm trying to be seen by the aliens, by God himself. I didn't even notice I highlighted way before I actually set under my eyes everything. That's so backwards. Listen, the old me was just doing stuff at this point. At least I know exactly where to set. Look at me snatching up under them. Cheekbones. Oh, kidding. But the lips, of course, she gonna ombre it. If y'all know EXO, one thing about EXO, she's going to ombre the fuck out of some lips. Now, this is the part that took me deep out. It took me out. You hear me? Like, she went in to ombre her lips, the inner center part of her lips with a pencil. Now she knew, and she went in with dry lips. Now she knew that was gonna break. Like you knew better than that. Y'all, she just knew she was cute, okay? The lips is giving though. And I'm gonna give it to her for knowing to make sure not to leave no harsh lines, getting them lips together, and bow, look at her. Who is that? That's a whole new person right there. That's that's giving it's giving Mamiana. It's giving very much. Mm hmm It's giving Zoe Girl from the north. Like, okay. And I give her a seven out of ten. Comment down below what you would rate this look. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, welcome. Like, comment, and subscribe. Drop those Haitian flags down below. And these are moments where I be so happy that I'm Haitian. Cause baby. Let me not flare up my nose. But every time I do my makeup, my nose just always get runny. Like it doesn't matter the weather indoors, it doesn't matter the weather outdoors. Whenever I do my makeup, it's like a sinus thing or something. But whenever I do my makeup, it's always runny. Always. It never fails. But do y'all see those eyebrows? Y'all know what's my favorite part of doing makeup? I have two favorite parts. Eyebrows and highlights. Cause baby come through world xo come through xo come through xo because baby <laughs> i love y'all